I'm Scott Cannon from the Gas Drilling Awareness Coalition. On an unseasonably warm January day, I took a trip to Dimmick to get some video shots of gas drilling rigs and the EPA doing water testing. Along a dirt road, my car was greeted by a big black dog that wouldn't let me pass. When the owner came out to call the dog in, I learned she was one of a group of residents that was suing Cabot Oil and Gas over water contamination. This is her story. Go, they went over that little bridge and they have to go up there and the trucks and the noise, a couple trucks fell halfway down into the creek and uh, the noise all night long with the banging and the flares of the fire you could see from your bedroom, it was, it was horrible. One of uh, Cabot's men were outside our house checking our well every 15 minutes for like four days. I guess our methane was so high that they had to make sure it wasn't going to explode. And they didn't even tell DEP about it. So when I told DEP, I mean, they said they were in violation and they got fined for that. But I was afraid to be in the house. I mean, if you have someone outside checking, you know, and then we got the um, vent on it, but um, and then, I don't know, the lawyers came around and everybody started calling me and I started to realize that this, this was really serious. The EPA is here to check about 61 wells and um, they're, I think they're looking for about 700 different things. You know, Cabot keeps saying it's, you know, just the, the gas, the methane, and it's so much more than that. Uh, the EPA is up here to get a better understanding as to what's going on with the groundwater situation up here in Dimmick. Uh, we've been talking to a lot of residents for quite a while and they've reported some problems. So we're up here to conduct our own sampling to find out uh, what the situation is firsthand. We have a an expert on our for our lawyers and they've they found all kinds of barium and arsenic and strontium and and other things I can't even pronounce in my well that are high levels not acceptable and so that's what the EPA is doing now they're going to check everybody's because Cabot keeps saying that our wells are clean and the people that are for Cabot, the enough already, are trying to get petitions to have EPA banned, not allowed to check them. And I don't see what the problem is. I mean, if the wells are clean, they should want to have them checked. Are they afraid that they're going to find contamination? Oh, I, I know they are. In fact, EPA, I mean, uh, Cabot was not wanting the judge in our lawsuit to, they didn't want to reveal their findings of what was in the wells because they said it would reveal their secret mix, their, uh, you know, their, their secret. Proprietary uh, yes, exactly. chemical compounds. So, and the judge saw right through that and they had to do it, so. The water delivery should be continued. Groundwater in a fractured bedrock aquifer system that's contaminated has almost no potential ever being cleaned up. While the rally carried on just next door, Dimmick residents protested for a different reason. Many of these folks have leases with the gas drillers, but they say those plans have been stalled while Dimmick is drawing national attention. It should be the poster child because it's a wonderful place to live and it's an example of what a, a thriving new industry can do both for a community and the country. That's what it should be a poster child of. Well, it's just ugly. I mean, people that we've been friends with and neighbors with and have helped, you know, for 20 some years won't even talk to us. They think that we're keeping them from making money. And it's just not true. It's because Cabot has, uh, you know, been shut down by the DEP for, for uh, breaking 
rules and for spilling and I mean we have nothing to do with it. Well there's been suspicious deaths with my goats. I've lost four goats right around the time that the pit was right above where they were living and we would get water out of the creek for them for years and never had a problem. It was always considered one of the cleanest creeks and right after they started with the, the pit that the, um, the goats started dying and it's very suspicious and I didn't take videos of things but you know I was overwhelmed by everything that was going on and I'd like to have the creek tested again and I think that's all going to happen soon but um, it's just been really upsetting. I used to love it here and it's so ugly. It's like an industrial park and we are moving away as soon as the lawsuit is settled and, and uh, the Enough Already group, which is Cabot's PR group, you know, who gets paid off and, you know, the fact that we were offered this settlement by DEP, that's enough. But you can't sell a house that's contaminated. And when I'm done paying the mortgage on this, then I'll have nothing left to move somewhere else. And my husband's going to have to quit his job because we can't live around here. We've heard a lot of stories. Um, people have some strong opinions on either side of the um, drilling debate. We're not really here um, because of the drilling. We just want people to know that um, it's our goal to protect human health and the environment. That's what we're here for. We want to make sure that no one is being exposed to unsafe drinking water. Um, so that's, that's our goal. That's our, our main purpose here. I don't want to buy another house and you can't even afford the houses too. It's just, it's crazy. So we're going to move to Maine and um, yeah, they, we definitely deserve more than, than they were trying to give us. Do you believe in clean water, fresh air, safe roads, and the natural beauty of our region? Learn about the unwanted effects of gas drilling. Visit gdacoalition.org.